Hello everyone. This is a video to help you with Milestone 2. We're going to look at the contribution margin tab of the worksheet that's needed. So you can find the information uh, in the module that you need by clicking on the Milestone 2 analysis. When it comes up, you'll see there's two documents. The project workbook you've already downloaded previously, but it's there for your convenience if you were to need it. Milestone 2 research data is a different set of information that you'll need. It's not much, but you're going to need it. And it has some instructions here. I'm going to go through those, but I want you to note that you have to show your work using calculations on the side or using the formulas in the table. But I'm going to show you how to do that. When you look at the Milestone 2 rubric, you notice that these are the different areas of the workbook that are due. So as long as you attempt them, you should get partial credit at least for each of these areas. And if you get them correct using formulas, then you should do very well. Okay, so looking at the contribution margin tab, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out the contribution margin. So the contribution margin is what's left over after you take the variable cost away from the selling price. So notice these are sales price per unit. So how much will you charge for a collar? How much will you charge for one leash? And how much will you charge for one harness? We'll look at that in a second. And then you're going to subtract the variable cost and what's left over is the contribution margin. So let's look at the sale price. So we're going to need that appendix that we talked about earlier. So looking at the appendix, the market research, you pick a price, 20, 24, 28. That would be the price per collar. And the more you charge, the less collars you'll sell. So there's a trade-off, as you probably understand already. If you charge less, you'll sell more collars. If you charge more, you'll sell less collars, but you'll make more every time you sell one. So it's up to you to determine what you want to do. You choose the, the price for your collar, leash, and harness. And then here are the uh, instructions down here, but we'll actually see that this information is already in the workbook that you're going to be using, so, so it's very convenient. So we can just go straight to the workbook. You put the sales price here, and I'm not going to use numbers that are given, Just I'm just going to use examples. Let's say you're going to charge $50 for a collar. Obviously that's not one of the choices, but just, just to show you. Then you get the variable cost per unit. So you come over here, and you go to the collars, and you go to the variable cost, and you get that information here. So if this came out to be, you know, again, just a total made up number, $20, then that's what you would put here, $20. But here's a preferred method to do that. You can hit equals, and then you can go to the next tab, and then you can click into that cell, and you'll see how it's uh, got the dashes that are circling. And then when you hit enter, it brings it over there. And that's kind of useful because if you made changes over here, it would automatically go over here. And then you want to subtract. So you just hit equals, then subtract. So equals B8 minus B9. And then that will tell you the answer. Now, if you don't want to use formulas, which really it's a very good idea to use them because that's what we do in the business world, then you would have to put the, your formula here. You would have to put the cells that you subtracted so that you could show your work underneath it. And you would do this for the collars and the leashes. And that's that will cover your contribution margin analysis. And it, what it does, it says that every time you sell a, a collar, in this case, after you cover your variable costs, you have $30 left over that would go towards your fixed cost. That's why they call it contribution margin. Whatever's there is what's going to contribute to paying your fixed cost. All right, good luck.